Okay, we now focus on the mechanic, which is the main topic that we will study in this course. Mechanic is the sign of motion. It is the of motion in mechanic we study first How to describe how to describe the motion especially using math. Okay, how to describe the motion mathematically. And second, to study the cost. So this is main two things that we study in mechanics. And from this character of mechanics, we will first study the quantities that related to the motion of an object. In the first chapter, we will discuss the quantities that need to describe the motion. Let's see the topic. Uh, you can see that in mechanics, the basic quantity is the length. The basic quantity is the length, the mass, and the time. So, we first need to know how to uh, measure these three quantity but before that before we do any measurement we first need to know or to define the standard the standard okay after that, once we know the standard, we can develop the process of measuring the length, mass, and time. Uh, in this course, we will talk about the standard, the definition of the, de the standard mainly. Uh, we will not go into the detail of the measuring of this quantity. You will study this in detail in the lab course. But anyway, we have to define the standard or the, and the meaning of length, mass, and time first. And once we know all data, we have to relate it. And in, in physics, we use mathematics as the vanguard, as uh, I mentioned earlier. And also, in some phenomena, we cannot observe it directly or we cannot measure it directly. So, usually in physics, we have to create 
the model or we may say, say that model building we create the model is something like our imagination of how nature work and then we do the calculation and compare the calculation with the experiment if the model agree with the experiment we say that the model is likely to be correct if not you have to improve the model and compare to the experiment again next we will talk about the dimensional analysis dimensional analysis is uh, the technique that you can use to check your calculation results since the quantity the quantities in physics need to be meaningful they must have the proper dimension they must have the proper dimension okay. and with corresponding unit uh, in some uh, quantity like the angle uh, actually they don't have dimension but in this case we always say that the dimension of this quantity is one or sometimes we uh, give the name of the dimension of the quantity although it's not have the dimension like uh, the angle the dimension is uh, sorry uh, we give the unit to the quantity not dimension we give the unit to the quantity that, that uh, does not have the dimension for example the angle has the unit of radian even though the angle has uh, the dimension of one Okay, so every physical property must have dimension. Okay, and uh, when you measure, when you measure some uh, quantity, you will you must give the unit that is corresponding to the dimension of that quantity. The way that you express. The numerical results of any uh, quantity. We use the idea of significant figure. <coughs> we use the idea of the significant figure uh, to give the number that has the meaning and it is the significant or important meaning. Okay and the last thing is the idea of the uh, order of magnitude the order of magnitude is important it will give you the last estimation of the size of the quantity you are interested sometimes we don't want to know the detail but just want to know Lastly, how small or how large the quantity that we are interested. So the idea of order of magnitude can be really useful. Okay. So this is the topic for the first chapter. Next, we will go to the detail. As mentioned before, mechanics is a sign of motion. So the basic quantity that we need to describe the motion is uh, R uh, the link the mass and Okay. Uh, we define the length, the mass, and the time as follow. Length is the distance 
between two points okay in space then is the distance between two points in space mass is the amount of matter anyway math is quite complicated uh, now when we study the relativity and the quantum theory there's some uh, not quite problem but we may have to redefine the meaning of math sometime we also now uh, de define the math as the uh, Initial, initial, okay. anyway, we will go back to the detail of initial later in this course, but now, for now, we will use the concept of the mass as the amount of matter, and the last quantity it's time okay time is a duration between two events Time is also quite complicated. We are familiar with the time in our daily life, but in physics there is some problem in the definition of time. Anyway, in now for for now we will use the, what you are most familiar. I think most of you are familiar with time. That is, it relates to some equipment like the clock and it gives you the duration between two events uh, probably in the physics too we will go back and discuss the meaning of the time and maybe also the meaning of math and length again when you study the relativity <laughs>